Well, hello, all my Jim Jim Jimmies. How are my Gemini peeps? Y'all come on in. Cross watchers, you're welcome as well. If you're new to my channel, I shall introduce myself. I am Carrie, Queen of Swords, and this is my badass castle. Yeah, yeah. And what I like to do here, my Gemini friends, is I like to serve up some hot, fresh, strong ass tea, Ruth truth you know yeah let's get the truth laid down okay and today for my Gemini collective I will be doing a three card spread this three card spread is called a relationship check-in okay who doesn't want to know about what's going on there and the first card is going to tell you Gemini about how you're feeling in this relationship the second card position is going to talk about how your partner is feeling in this relationship and third last but not least is going to talk about how your feelings and what's going on there is affecting the relationship in general okay so let me shuffle once or twice my loves before i get the party started make sure we're good and shuffled Ooh, let's see. Geminis, Geminis. What do my Gemini friends need to know? My Jim, Jim, Jimmies. What do they need to know about the relationship this weekend, this month, this year, whenever they see it? Please, can you tell us what our Geminis need to know about this relationship check-in? Right. I'm going to cut the deck. Please let us receive your divine insight into the relationship check-in for Jim Jims. How are our Geminis feeling right now? Thank you. One day I'll have a big table. I won't have to go digging. <laughs> okay. Second card. How are my Geminis partners feeling? Okay. Thank you. And last but not least, how is this affecting the relationship of our Geminis? Ooh, I don't like that one. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. Gemini. Ooh. What have you done, Gems? What have y'all done? Oh, I see. No. <laughs> okay. Right now, I see that, Gemini, you're feeling like celebratory you want to go out and celebrate you want to go have fun go party with your girlfriends boyfriends just friends in general have you a few of them big goblets full of wine and dance the night away right that sounds like Gemini to me yeah go have fun kick it laugh this could also mean for some of you guys a third party within the relationship they're feeling like they're wanting to step out possibly gemini if any of y'all are feeling that way and it's okay no judgment here remember so let's go over here to your people but this is three cuts of love this is love i mean can be familial love it can be romantic love it can just be friends that you feel like are family love, you know? Let's see. Sorry. Go away. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Now, how is Gemini's partner feeling? Oh, my word. They sure ain't dancing around with a big goblet of wine. <laughs> Gemini, what is really going on? What you got your people out here doing? They look so stressed and overly exhausted. Feel like they can't even go on any further. They're, they're burnt out. What's happening? Are they burn out trying to keep up with you, Jim Jims? <laughs> I know y'all some busy people. Yeah. Complete and total, overly exhausted, took on too many burdens, need to lay this down, but almost to a completion. Are they gonna make it? 
What kind of end is this? What kind of what what are we completing here? What kind of cycle? All right, because this has got your people, Gemini. Looking within for that inner knowledge and intuition and really connecting either you or your person, which has caused, we all know this card. I mean, you can pretty much tell what it means. Shut through the heart. You're too late. <laughs> you give love a bad name. Anyway. It's sliced and diced all up in the heart, heartbreak, pain. But you're coming out of it, or they are. Maybe both of you. Someone had some intuitive uh, messages sent to them via the angelic realms. And the truth of the matter was heartbreaking. And it caused a love to go sour. It's a brand new beginning in love offer of love. Big cup of love. You know? Pour it over. Right beside the three of swords. Could be an Aquarius y'all are with. Very intuitive. And they just, they went ahead and laid that burden down. Because the third parte parte card caused them too much stress and burden overwhelmed overly exhausted couldn't carry on any further so they had to lay their wands down can I get some more please more information on this third parte parte with Gemini yeah devil energy Grrr. Hot and heavy. Passionate. Toxic relationship. Addiction. Could be sex addiction. Gemini. We need to free ourselves of these toxic and negative patterns and behaviors before we can have a successful relationship. And if you see the devil here, he's got his hand up. He's like, I'm not even holding these people. Like, they're just staying here out of their own damn free will. Because they like that. Third parte parte. All that wine. Goblets and goblets of wine. All right. Tell me more, Spirit, about this Ten of Wands, please. Ten of Wands. Thank you. Yeah. They were trying not to allow a cycle to complete and this caused a tower moment with your partner they were holding on refusing to allow this successful completion here because man your partner worked for it too but because they did not like they were refusing to allow that successful completion, this in turn caused a tower moment where whew, all of these old patterns and behaviors and ways of life or coping mechanisms had to be stripped down to the bare minimum. Like all the walls in the tower fall down because it's built on a shaky foundation. If it's a suck-ass foundation, your walls are not going to stay up. They're going to start caving in. Or like going outwards. I don't know what it really does. But you know, I'm imagining like a spaghetti house. And the tower moment then caused, I'm guessing, your partner to really look within. Or you as well. Um, this could mean you hiding things, you know, because the queen... Uh, the High Priestess is about mystery and about things unseen. and She knows what is going on, but uh, there's a lot that's unseen. There's a lot of mystery there. The moon. And it caused both of y'all to have heartbreak and a sour love relationship. I'm sorry. Well, at least y'all can go out and do the third parte parte. Free and clear now, baby. 
Don't get down. Get down, Brown. <laughs> get down. All right. Can I get a little advice for our Geminis, please? Our Geminis in this love situation or situationship. Yeah. It says to go ahead and let it complete out all of this. Like there's been enough drama, enough pain, enough walls crumbling and changes going on. See? Because you're here. You're feeling um, a little bit better. Like you can see that you're in so much pain at this point, you're not going to hurt any worse. Like killing you would be a relief. So this is the most amount of pain you'll ever be in with this situation and you're almost over it okay let me get you another card anything else for my gemini's thank you <clears throat> and to um maybe go home and visit i don't know if that would help or there may be someone from your past creeping on up already my gem gem jimmies <laughs> whatever it is um it's a sweet, innocent, nostalgic love. Maybe some self-care needs to be done here. I would say so. At least a band-aid or two, you know. But that's all the time I have, my Gemini friends. Thank you. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, share, and peace, love, and light. Queen of Swords is out, my bitches. Mm -mm. Well, I thought I was out. Hold on. <laughs>